Yeah. Because I really want to get this blue and not test it out. I'll just test it out. I'm going to test I it out. I first knew I was an artist about when I was nine years old. One day I drew this bike and we had a, a parent teacher's day and uh, my mother came to the school and my, my teacher took her to the side and showed her this bike that I drew. And my mother got me a bike after that, you know, so I, I thought there was some kind of magic to this thing. The name of the piece that I did for the Hudson Yard project is titled Functional Vibration. It comes from my crochet work and it's crocheted work that's transformed to mosaics. It's inspired by African-American um, homemakers like crochet doilies, afghans, tablecloths, bedspreads, the interior that's handmade with the aesthetic of the African-American homemaker in the aesthetic of funk. It has a frequency or vibration to it, the aesthetic. I feel like the, the composition has some sort of musicality without actually like giving sound to it. It has like the beep, boop, 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 boop. It has like these kind of like little things and boom, boom, boom. That's kind of like what I see. I see patterns and I can translate the pattern into sound. I don't know why. That's what I, I feel. Well, the dome piece is just crocheted um, circles, mandalas and squares and they're embroidered together. Some of them have 45s on them. Two pieces are from the Atlantic record label. And the reason why I used the Atlantic label is because of the Atlantic slave trade that brought us here. So it's kind of like a coding in that. But it's the cosmos, the coming of life and the ending of life and everything in between. very captivating. The first thing that caught my eye is just the sea of blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. So that draws me in. And I love all the different colors that are surrounding it. Some of it like reminds me of like the infinity pattern. And I'm drawn to that. I love how they overlap. Um, it's just there's so much going on. After I was um, awarded the commission, then I had to start working with the fabricator and I had to make the work visible so he could start creating the glass chips that would go into the mosaic. Every single color that was in the mosaic or in the crochet pieces, I had to give him the yarn from the pieces that I made. There's over a million chips in there. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Look at the details and it's very special, lovely. You know, it was exciting the very first time I saw what was being applied there. I, I saw that it was my work that was going up on my wall. It was a whole nother experience. Superman.